everyone welcome back to my channel um, I apologize for the crappy lighting in this video in advance um, as much as I would love to film all my videos during the daytime with beautiful you know sunny lighting um, I do work full-time so it's not always gonna be possible and some of my videos are just going to have to be taped in the evening after I get home from work um, and this is the best I can do, so I hope you guys forgive me. But um, today's video, I have a little confession, but I might have bought a few more orchids. So I have another orchid unboxing to show you. So I know I just showed you my most recent orchid haul from the weekend um, at the orchid show. But the week leading up to that, it's possible that I might have gotten a little bit carried away on eBay and that I may have also looked at the site of one of my favorite orchid nurseries. And it's also possible that I bought a whole bunch of new orchids. So I have a problem. Okay guys, just before I um, begin, I wanted to say a really quick word about something. Um, in Australia, it's Are You OK Day today, and Are You OK Day is an initiative to raise awareness about mental health. <clears throat> and basically, it's um, it is a charity, but it's um, an initiative to encourage people to ask their friends, their family, their work colleagues. Um, are you okay? Do you want to talk and just start a conversation? Um, and the little tag is a conversation could change a life. And I think raising awareness on mental health is such an important initiative. You know, it's just one of those issues that's been tucked away in a corner out of the public eye for so long. Um, and really, it's just such an isolating thing, you know, and depression can happen to anybody and I really think you know just by um, being thoughtful and kind to one another and you know just starting a conversation and being receptive and listening I think we can change someone's life I think I truly believe that I think you can turn um, you know, turn around a day for someone if they're having the absolute worst day um, and contemplating um, terrible things, um, you know, simply buying a coffee for them or asking, are you okay? You know, um, do you want to talk about something? I think, I think sometimes it means the world and, you know, you just might not know the impact you have on someone's life. So, yeah, um, my partner is um, promoting this day at his work, tomorrow he's holding a barbecue and things like that. Um, my work unfortunately isn't doing anything like that and I, I feel like that's a bit sad and I think next year maybe I'll try to promote something as well but I, um, I actually work in a hospital of all places um, because in my second life outside of the orchid world I am um, actually a doctor so you know I have a quite stressful day job and um, yeah it's a shame that you know people around my work weren't asking are you okay today so yeah um, it, it is an Australian initiative so obviously if you're overseas um, hopefully there's other initiatives like that in your country but this is something that you can um, you know implement anywhere so um, I'm going to put some links down below to um, some resources in Australia that you can check out if you're feeling a bit blue. So anyway, now that I've talked about that, let's begin the unboxing. So you missed the unboxing of these two orchids, but I unboxed them yesterday. Um, so I got two frags online. This is... Frag Memoria Dick Clements um, and I will pop a photo here of the flower but um, 
obviously it's flowering size there's an old flower spike there and it's got um, one two three four new growths happening so I've been keeping an eye out for this frag for quite some time um, so when it came up as a flowering sized division I kind of just had to have it and this one because obviously if I'm paying for shipping anyway I should get a second one this is frag cardinal birchwood which has an HCC AOS next to its name um, and this as well is a flowering size division you can see an old flower spike there and this one as well has um, I think three new growths happening Oops. so I don't know about you guys but um, I always make a stupid mess when I unbox orchids so put some newspaper down and let's have a look at what's in here. So got what's up here? Maybe I'll go from this side. So we've got a few leaves. There we go. So we have another path. Surprise, surprise. You know how obsessed I am with paths at the moment. Alright, so this is Path Memoria Richard Ong. Um, and it's a pretty good size, so that's my hand there. It's about just under 30 centimetre leaf span, I think. There's a new little leaf popping out there. It's got four fairly well established leaves there. And yeah, I'll pop a picture up if I haven't already of this orchid, but I'm pretty sure I won this one in an eBay auction. So I've just removed that tissue paper um, and I'm sure you can see that's where they've made the cut. So, um, so it's a division um, and it's potted a little bit high or the, some of the media's probably fallen out actually is probably the more likely scenario. Um, so I'll probably repot it on the weekend so I don't think I'll have time before then but um, until then I'll just fill with a little bit of media or sphagnum around there and give it a good drink tonight. Hmm, pretty. Alright guys, well, I've got a big box here um, and this um, little order is from uh, Robertson's Orchids, which is based in Queensland. Um, I've bought from him a few times before and he has very nice quality orchids. Always packed pretty well. Maybe the media just fell out there, but I told you I always make a mess, so. Ooh, look how plump that pseudobulb is. Yes! What have we got? The um, label is stuck. Oncidium alasuka Claire. Uh, so I think this has been reclassified as a Gomusa actually. It's got like um, a big dancing lady skirt but looks a bit different to the typical sort of dancing lady um, flowers that I've seen in the past. Pretty good looking root system there. Um, but oof, those pseudo bulbs are plump. Okay, let's get the next one. The smaller one. Oncidium Twinkle Pink Profusion. So I've got a Twinkle already, if you remember. Um, I've got a fragrant fantasy variety, which has um, little cream yellow flowers. Uh, but I just wanted to expand my collection a little bit, and I really love the pink flowers. 
So, let's check this guy out, shall we? Lots of um, spent old flower spikes there. So, definitely flowering size and yeah, looks bushy and healthy. There's a new growth there, one there. Yeah. Nope, oh, and one in the middle here. I call my other Oncidium Twinkle Mr. Twinkle, so this can be Mrs. Twinkle. <laughs> they can be a happy little couple together. Next one. Ugh. I got these sometime last week and I can't remember. Oh, I do remember. Okay, guys, I know I told you I bought like five orchids, but I just remembered I happened to ask John if he had any um, sort of near flowering size or flowering size species cells. So, uh, yeah, I just remembered. I can't believe I forgot. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this makes me so excited. <laughs> Sorry. It's like a surprise, even though I knew about it. Oh. God, my memory is terrible. This is Fowl Speciosa. Um, and oh, I just love these species fowls and those glossy leaves. Look at them, which is so different from those complex um, fowl hybrids that you, that you get. Let's look at you. Right. So, what have we got there? Let's zoom in a bit. been a bit silly and I've accidentally deleted the footage of my original video but um let me get a close-up of this little one for you but do you see where my thumb is so I am 93% sure that that is a flower spike do you see how it looks different from that middle structure there so that is definitely a root in the middle it is rounded, it is glossy, it's coming out of the middle of the stem, you know, the flat portion. Whereas this is pointed, it's shaped like a little mitten, it's coming out of the side at the base of that second leaf. So, so all the signs are pointing to a flower spike. And only time will tell for sure but that's pretty exciting okay let's see if I can do this next one without getting stuck everywhere oh uh, no <laughs> I failed on Check it out guys, oh, look at those big fat roots, they're obscene, I love it. Oh, look at that amazing flower spike, look at this. So this can only be one plant and I've been wanting this for so long. This is Fal Cornu Servi Red. Poking out a new leaf there. There's two beautiful flower spikes. So these species fowls um, can uh, sequentially bloom from the same flower spike for um, a very long time. So they can last years. So if they're green, you shouldn't cut these flower spikes off ever because they will continue to bloom. And anyway, I mean, I don't have any other orchids, let alone fowls, that um, grow flower spikes like this. Isn't that just fascinating? I've decided not to make you guys um, go through the pain of watching me <laughs> take the plastic off because it's just me dropping a bunch of media. But let's have a little look at this base. 
overall looks like quite a healthy plant. I have noticed though that some of these flowers, like the old one as well, has a little bit of discoloration in the old leaves. Um, I'm not sure what that is. If any of you guys know, just comment down below. Um, I have sort of read maybe that it might be um, magnesium deficiency. I think another YouTuber, um, Bumblebee, has a video on magnesium deficiency that I saw once and I think this sort of patterning is called chlorosis. Um, don't quote me on that. I will probably just put something in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I do give my plants Epsom salts um, once a month or once every six weeks. So um, hopefully my plants don't um, have too many issues with magnesium deficiency. But yeah, um, I hope this patterning doesn't continue. It does seem a lot more like a nutrient deficiency of some sort rather than any sort of virus or infection or anything like that. So that's a good thing. Because deficiencies can be repleted but viruses and diseases are a lot more difficult to deal with. Anyway, how beautiful is this plant? This one comes all the way up to here. So we've got a tall plant. Isn't it funny? I can never remember what I ordered. But I do find unboxing very fun. You may not find it as fun on the other side. But, oh, here we go with this tape again. Right. This is Epidendrum Wedding Valley Sakura. And ta da! Ta da! Flower spikes! So she has. Oh, there it is. Spiked before. And um, I appear to have two new flower spikes emerging there. And this one appears to be a new growth. And another new growth there. So three new growths, two flower spikes. I think that's a win. So good. Um, and I, <laughs> I adore my epidendrums. Um, actually, so I'm gonna show you something and I'm gonna remove you from the tripod. I'm just gonna pause for a second. So these are my epidendrums and I've shown you this guy but he's throwing out these buds and I think it's meant to be um, a red epidendrum. There's no real ID on it. Oh look at this poor little fella. I really love this epidendrum and I was so excited. So um, <clears throat> quite a few weeks ago, about a month ago, um, I had three flower spikes and the third one, which was just beginning to bloom, um, got broken off. So this plant fell and that spike got broken off. But then I was so happy because it started growing a secondary spike. Anyway, God knows what happened like two nights ago. It wasn't windy, like nothing. Um, Toby was inside, so it wasn't Toby, but this plant got knocked over again and um, I've got it in a ceramic pot now so you know sure it's still a little bumpy but something knocked it over it wasn't the wind I think it was maybe a possum or something I think you know they tried to maybe get to the flower and um, knocked it over so this whole flower spikes fallen off from there great um, and also, the new secondary spike that was coming out fell off. Uh, got a fat pot next. I think I might be expecting um, a 
another creepy sound. So. Yep. <laughs> You guys, you're totally judging me on the other side of this camera, aren't you? Just thinking she is nuts, crazy plant lady. So you guys, can you see the tag? It says Fal Marie um, and Fasciata in parentheses and question mark. <laughs> um, so I don't remember ordering a foul marie you guys i don't think it was offered to me if it was i would have ordered it um i was offered a foul fasciata um which are both species orchids species fowls um but they are different to one another they have different flowers um however both are beautiful so i'm i'm really not complaining either way um, I guess having a surprise when it flowers of getting either a Marie or a Fasciata is, I don't know, one of the better surprises in life, I suppose. So, um, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Um, this guy's got three leaves. And again, do you see that coloration there? Interesting. Yeah, maybe magnesium, guys, because you see it's not on the newest leaf. There's another little leaf developing there. So, yes, maybe magnesium deficiency. I'll say last but not least, because it's the biggest of the bunch as well. That feels like Christmas. <laughs> Look at those cedar bulbs. <laughs> it's like I'm undressing it, you know, just throw off its clothes. Alright. El Perparata. Lelia Perparata. Alright, so I think I've shown you guys, um, but for those of you who um, are new to my videos, I do have a previous video. Bugger! What? What is wrong with me? Um, I do have a previous video um, called, um, or oh, just going through my um, upstairs indoor grow space, and I show you what I did to my last Lelia Perparata. It, it still looks extremely, extremely unhappy. It's hanging in there, it's still alive, but only just. It is in such a bad place. Um, and it's all because of my repotting uh, so I am gonna have to be extremely careful with the choices I make with this one so I bought I bought another Lelia Perforata look at those gorgeous roots coming out there and we've got one two oh. one two new growths there And you can see two pretty fresh sheets there. Oh my goodness. They're really stiff. Don't they look like a second leaf? God, so they're really stiff, big sheets that they produce. This one's got a dried up sheet. With, I don't think there's anything. Ah, oh, no, it's an old flower spike in there. There we go. You see that? In terms of uh, sheets um, and flowering, I think um, the pseudobulbs can stay there with the sheets and even um, after the sheets are dry, they can still flower. So, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play with this orchid very much. I will have to decide what I wanna do because I am dying to repot it, but you know, I really stuffed things up last time, so I'll have a good think about it. So here are all my new orchids, guys. Um, and just to get a little comparison of size, you can see how little the twinkle is, um, and even the Oncidium compared to that 
big perforata at the back. Even the epidendrum, you know, is um, not as big as my others. And you can see the speciosa is the smallest of them all, but I'm pretty excited that there might be a new flower spike on that one. Um, and I did forget to mention uh, that the Lelia perforata um, variety, I believe, is uh, du crente and it's crossed with another variety. Uh, but I will put all the names um, down below in the description, so just have a look. I'll put the names of all the plants um, and also I'll put in those links that I promised for Are You Okay Day. Um, I'm sorry I dragged this video out so much, but you know, I think I discussed something that's important to me. You know, I think the orchid hobby actually is something um, that really helps my mental health, to be honest. I do this for me. It's um, it is just something I get a lot of joy from. It completely relaxes me uh, and, you know, goodness, I get excited about a new leaf or a new root, let alone like flowers and things like that. Like it just, I come home after a busy day and um, yeah, I, there's something about it, isn't there? And I think I've just found my thing. So, you know, I hope everyone, everyone out there finds their thing. It's so important to do stuff for yourself. Um, yeah, so sorry guys, you know, obviously I'm rambling again, but hey, how beautiful are these guys? All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope, you know, um, you didn't mind my talking and rambling and promoting are you okay day um, too much but you know it is a video you can always skip through stuff if you don't want to hear it um, but please give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you liked what you were watching and want to see more videos and um, yeah guys I will see you all next time and I'll just zoom in to these little flower spikes one more time all right guys happy growing see ya